In this video, we're going to look at the normal distribution. We're going to be looking at answering questions using the tables in this video, and I'll do a separate video for using the calculator. Here we've got a picture of a normal distribution, so it's a shape of a distribution. So if you looked at the heights of people or the weights of people or the length of a light bulb's life, you can model them using this normal distribution. It's a really common pattern. So it's a symmetrical distribution. And the mean, the median, and the mode are all straight down the middle. So it's a kind of a shape of a distribution, a symmetrical shape where the mean, the median, and the mode are all straight down the middle. In order to use the tables to answer questions, we need to standardize the normal distribution. We've only got one table and we might be looking at data to do with heights or we might looking, be looking at data to do with lengths of time. So we need to convert all of the data into a standardized score. So there's a formula to standardize a score and that's Z which is the standardized score equals X minus the mean divided by the standard deviation so the number we're looking at I put the number minus the mean divided by the standard deviation that gives us a standardized score so it's a measure of how many standard deviations the number is away from the mean. So let's look at some questions. So here we've got a question. It says the random variable x, the squiggly line means distributed. So x is distributed, n means normally. So x is distributed normally. And the first number is the mean. And the second number is the variance. So we know the mean is 30 and variance is 4. So that means standard deviation must be the square root of 4, which is 2. So we've got a mean, we've got a standard deviation. And we know to standardize the score, we're going to do x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So we need to find the probability for part A that X is bigger than 33. So our normal distribution looks something like this with 30 in the middle. So 33 would be up here. And we want to know the probability that it's bigger than 33. So what's the probability that we're going to be in the green section. What's the probability of the green section? So in order to use the table to work out the probability, we need to standardize our score. So find Z. So Z equals X, which is the number we're looking at, 33 in this case, minus the mean, which is 30, divided by the standard deviation, which is 2. So that's 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So we're looking up a standardized score of 1.5. So let's have a look at that. So here's the table. So we've got all the Z's, all the Z scores here. We only start at Z equals 0, which is the mean. But obviously, we've got a symmetrical distribution. So we can use the same numbers to work out the negative side. So we're looking at for a Z1.5. So Z1.5 is here. And that gives us a probability of 0 0.9332. So which part of the graph is 0 0.9332? That is, well, it's the bigger part. 0 0.9332 
is 93%. So 0.9332 is the bigger part. And we need to work out the green part, the smaller part. So if less than 33 is 93%, what is bigger than 33? So we're going to do 1 minus the answer. And that gives us 0 0.0668. So our probability of bigger than 33 is 0 0.0668. Okay, we've got another question here. So find the probability that x is less than 31. So we've got a normal distribution. We've got 30 in the middle. 31 is just to the right of that. And we're going to work out less than 31. So that's a bigger part this time. We're looking at, we're going to have an answer bigger than 50% this time, bigger than 0 0.5. So we're going to standardize the score. So to get our standardized score, we're going to have 31 minus the mean, divided by the standard deviation, which is 1 over 2, so that's 0 0.5. So we're going to look up 0 0.5, and we've got 0 0.6915. 0 0.6915. That is the bigger section. Less than 31. That's what we wanted. So our answer is 0 0.6915. Okay, part C. So we're saying it says find the probability that x is between 31 and 33. So x is between 31 and 33. So we don't actually need to work anything out extra for this because we already have this information. So 31 is here. 33 is up here. And we already know less than 31. We already know that. And more than 33, we already know that. So in between 31 and 33, we're going to do 1 minus our first answer. So we're going to take away the probability that it's bigger than 33. We're going to take away the probability it's less than 31. And that should leave us with the bit in the middle. So if we start with one hole, take off the two green bits, that will leave us with the probability between 33 and 31. And that gives us 0 0.2417. Okay, here's another question. You can pause the video and try and give this one a go. Obviously, you'll need the normal distribution table, which I can't even fit on one screen. So if you don't have it, just carry on watching or get to that stage, watch the video from there and carry on after. OK, so we've got a random variable y is normally distributed with a mean of 25, mean of 25, and a variance of 9, which means standard deviation is 3, because this is variance. 9 is variance, so standard deviation is square root variance. Find the probability that y is bigger than 27. So we're going to standardize our score. So z equals... 27 
minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, which gives us a z of two thirds. I should have drawn a normal distribution first. So we've got 25 as the mean. We want bigger than 27. So we are looking for this green section, so bigger than 27. So we've got a Z of two thirds, so that's 0 0.67. So 0 0.67. That gives us a probability of 0 0.7486. So that's the red section, the bigger section was 0 0.7486. So how do we find the green section? We do 1 minus 0 0.7486, which will give us 0 0.2514. Okay, the second question, find the probability that y is bigger than 21. So this time we've got 25 as the mean and we want 21, which is over here. And we want bigger than 21. So that's going to be the bigger section. All the way above 21. So we'll standardize our score. So we've got Z equals 21 minus 25 over three. So minus the mean and divide by the standard deviation, which gives us negative four thirds, which is negative 1.33. Okay, so we can't look up a negative Z on our table. There isn't one. It only starts halfway. It starts at zero. So we just look up the positive one. So we're going to look up positive 1.33. And we're going to use the fact that it's symmetrical. So positive 1.33 gives us 0 0.9082. So that's the bigger section. And we wanted the bigger section. So 0 0.9082 0 0.9082 we wanted the bigger section so that's our answer 0 0.9082 part c find the probability that y is between 21 and 27 so we've already done 21 and 27 so we should have the information to answer this. So we've got 25 as the mean. We want between 21 and 27. So what do we know? We know that all of this above 21, all of the green section was 0 0.9082 and Above 27, we know was 0 0.2514. So above 27, this red section was 0 0.2514. So to get between 21 and 27, we can do the green section, take away the red section. So 0 0.9082, take away above 27, which was 0 0.2514, and that should give us our answer, which is 0 0.6568.